Hi everybody. We have entered into the season of Lent. Take a look around the church this morning. What do you see? That's right. We have entered into the time of the color purple, a time for getting ready. Now Lent sounds an awful lot like Lent, but I'm not talking about the stuff that you clean out of your dryer. Lent is a 40 day journey toward Easter. It's a time for us to be quiet, still and thoughtful to draw our hearts close to God, the one who loves us so much. Now, during this time, many people give up things that distract them from being close to God, or they give to organizations that help people. And almost everybody focuses on trying to remember to pray more. These three crucial things that happen during Lent are under the words fasting, almsgiving, and prayer. But let's hop back over to how long Lent lasts, 40 days. Hmm. I bet you could think of some other stories that we've heard during our journey together that lasted 40 days or 40 years. That's right. In the story of Noah and the big boat, it rained for 40 days. Or how about when the Israelites were wandering in the desert for 40 years? And most recently, Jesus was in the wilderness for 40 days. Hmm, 40 seems to be a pretty important number, doesn't it? And let's think about these stories where 40 is important. All of them were pretty demanding scenarios, weren't they? Think about it, being on that big boat or being with your family wandering in the desert or being tempted in the desert. No wonder it takes 40 days for us to prepare to enter into the mystery of Easter. We have to focus on drawing closer to God during this time. We're being reminded that we need God. Now, during the season of Lent, we practice prayer, almsgiving, and fasting, not to earn God's love, but instead, we are responding to the great love of God so that we can be the very best version of ourselves. So this morning, I'd like to challenge you. Look at how you can draw closer to God. Maybe it's through our Lenten journey through the Lord's Prayer, learning the Lord's Prayer for the first time, or looking at it in a completely different light. Maybe you can do something kind for someone every day during Lent without being asked. Whatever you choose to do, remember that you are surrounded by the great love of God. And if you're too weary one day to complete a task, to focus on anything more than your breath, let your breath be your prayer because God draws near to us, whether we're jumping up and down with joy or whether we're a little bit weary on our long Lenten journey. Will you join me in this breath prayer? Breathing in. Guide my Lenten journey, God. And as we breathe out, my hope is in you. Amen.